So now it's step three, and step three is really all about building your list. This is your list of prospects. You see, there's really no point in getting visitors to your site if you can't actually get them to take any action. And you've really only got two choices when it comes to what action they take. You can either try and get them to buy from you there and then, or you can get their contact details and give you more and more chances to contact them, and keep working on them until they eventually buy. Now, if you're a genius copywriter, are you a genius copywriter? Well, the truth is that there's only a handful of people in the world, probably, that are so influential and with their words. They're just so good at writing good copy that they can probably get people to buy on their first encounter. Although the chances are even the best copywriters in the world wouldn't choose that option. Now, also the chances are that you, like me, are not one of those genius copywriters. And the chances are that you're going to need all the chances that you can get to persuade someone to actually buy your service. Now, I think this really is probably where the, the real successful professional web site owners split from everybody else. This is the difference between that small 1% or less sites and people who make money and have their sites contribute to their bottom line and the 99 plus percent of people whose sites do not. And it really comes down to this simple concept. So now you're really kind of faced with this really big decision as regards your website. Are you going to go for broke and try and sell right off the page, first time or never? And it's very tempting, you know, the person's there, they're in your, right in front of you, right near your buy now button. Or are you going to actually give yourself several opportunities to actually sell your service? It might take months, perhaps even years of chances. Personally, I have sold products to people who didn't buy a single thing for over five years and then all of a sudden I send out an email five years down the line and they place an order. So it's a very difficult one to gauge. Sometimes it just takes a long time for you to be around a long time for them to feel com comfortable about it and to make that decision. Of course that's not always the case and you know we're not just building for tomorrow. We do want to get orders today. However, you're still faced with this big choice. So that's the, the choice that you're faced with. Go for broke, sell right now, here today or not at all, or give yourself as many opportunities to sell as you possibly can get.